Voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. What up everybody, I'm Rodney Rock. And I am a feminist. And I believe that all men need to be feminists. All men need to be advocates of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality of men. Oh my god, you can read. But with all seriousness, hi, I'm the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm going to re respond to Rotting Rock. That's his name, I think. Um, and, um... You know, this video has been out there for quite some time. I originally wanted to upload this about a few weeks ago, but you know, my computer had to be restarted, had to be cleaned out, and all that shit. And now I'm making a, you know, a video. At a much more higher quality, as you can tell. Don't worry, this one's gonna be very quick. At least I hope. You know, some feminists think that by stating out the definition of a word, they think they won. They think by stating the definition of feminism, people will start thinking, oh my god, a feminism means equality, therefore we should just jump on a bandwagon. It doesn't work like that. Especially when the movement itself doesn't necessarily mean, doesn't act like its own meaning. I know that some people are going to be like, oh no, feminism, you know, feminists are really trying to fight for equality. No, they're not. You know, there is plenty of anti-feminist videos on YouTube. Just start looking. Because without a shadow of a doubt, there is an inherent inequality between males and females all over the world. I can throw a tank top on, go to the mall, walk on the street all by myself, and feel completely safe and protected. A woman, on the other hand, could do the same thing, but still be faced with harassment and even could legitimately fear for their own livelihood. Well, geez, I don't know. Maybe because no one, barely anyone out there is going to harass a man, especially one that is physically fit. Uh, if a man does, in fact, get harassed, they're more likely going to take um, things in, you know, take things into their own hands. Like, you're going to end up punching a guy if you do get harassed. But for a woman, she's more physically weaker and therefore more easier as a target to harass. Now, am I trying to justify rape? No, I'm not. Yes, it is sad and quite unfortunate that women and a few men do, in fact, get harassed. But it's not really based, but it's not really sexist. I mean, is it sexist for, um, you know, men to be more likely to commit suicide than women? No. And it's, it applies the same thing for um, violence against men. Men are more likely to be victims of violence than women. So is that sexism towards women? I mean, not women, men? No, it's not. Also, before I forget, um, the part about how women are more likely to be sexually harassed because they wear a tank top, that's an over-exaggeration. I've seen plenty of women out there in the streets wearing tank tops and completely confident in their freaking lives. I don't, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but it doesn't happen as frequently as you think it does. That is a horrible reality. This is a conversation I feel more and more men need to have because just by virtue of being born with a penis, we are part of the culture of misogyny and inequality. I'm sorry that I'm male. I'm sorry that I'm white. I'm sorry that I'm male. Why can't I stop oppressing women? <laughs> But with all seriousness, I can literally make an argument on how women have just as many benefits of, of that of a man, if not even more. In fact, with these benefits, it makes me want to change my, you know, get a sex change and, and get these benefits. That's a little harsh, right? What, you don't believe me? Well, say you're at a party with your friends and one guy says, I mean, with the way that she's dressed, how does she expect me to act, right? Well, believe it or not, this is more of a yes and no thing. It really all depends on the situation. For example, if someone, if a woman dressed all sexually clad and, you know, um, 
that's like a total slut, then of course this is a bit justified because how the how else are you going to act? Are you just going to run away as far away from this person? Because if that's if you're that type of person, then that's completely fine. I'm not judging you for that. But most men would probably, you know, act like what he's acting right now. And hell, even if you just dress sexually clad, uh, you're going to get the attention of men. You know, you're going to get quote unquote cat called because you are wearing revealing clothing and that is part of men's nature. It doesn't really work that way if you suspect people to treat you, you know, ignore you and still wear these sexually appealing clothing. If you don't want to be noticed, then I suggest that you start um, not shaving your armpits. I suggest not caring about your appearance and, you know, just look normal. But if you dress very sexually, of course you're going to be noticed by me. And you don't even necessarily agree, you just kind of laugh along and let it slide. You are perpetuating the misogyny. Because by laughing along with that kind of misogynistic comment, you say it's okay to make them. You say it's okay to objectify women. Both genders get objectified. But you don't say anything about how men get objectified, now do you? And before you say that you're against objectification of both genders, let me just say that objectification is unavoidable. Everyone gets objectified. I am right now being objectified by being just plain entertainment for the audience that's currently watching this video. So right now, I am just plain entertainment for whoever is watching. Therefore, I am being objectified. So, yeah. And you encourage the douchebag who's saying these idiotic things. I see this happen with a lot of young guys who want to belong and want to be accepted. But guess what, boys? You earn respect by standing up for what's good and right and for calling out your friends on their bullshit. And what's even more maddening is that there are intelligent guys out there who come up with these idiotic solutions that sound like they know what they're talking about. Here is, sadly, an extremely common example. I mean, she was talking about how she was getting hit on and harassed a whole bunch. If that's happening to her, why doesn't she just reconsider what she's wearing so she's not provoking all this attention? Oh my god, fellas, we are so smart, right? We're so smart. No! Again, this is all depending on the situation. If she's wearing something that is sexually attract, no, something that sexually attracts men, then of course it's going to sexually attract men. Don't wear something that sexually attracts men if you do not want to sexually attract men. It's that sick. Or do you just expect every man to just turn their freaking heads and be like, Oh my god, she's wearing a tank top. I can't help but lust over it. I'm such a bad person. Such a bad person. Oh, first off, why should women have to change? Why can't we as men grow some character and learn how to show respect instead of taking everything as an invitation for sex? And I'm not trying to point fingers because for a long time what that idiot said used to sound like something that made sense to me. And it's such a common thing for guys to get together and reinforce that kind of notion. Where the fuck do you even get this information? Oh yeah, sure, I just love to go hanging out with my friends, you know, talk about how I just love squeezing women's asses in front of my friends, you know? Yeah, I do that constantly. Where the fuck do you even get this information? That's the question I- But what I failed to understand, what I had failed to perceive, is that it has nothing to do with what women wear or how they present themselves because it's a man's fault to be sexually attracted towards a woman. On several occasions, I've observed my sister, I've observed my girlfriend, dressed in their sweats and their hoodie, no makeup on their face, trying their best to be obscure, and they're still objectified, hit on, and harassed. I don't know why, but I feel like you're just lying now. It's not on them, fellas. It's on us. Ask any woman 
it doesn't matter what they wear, they still can be victimized by men on a daily basis. Now, I know it can be hard to spot. Inequality and sexism is so stealthily ingrained into our society that oftentimes you don't even notice it. But because people like yourself always see, your, see in this black and white world. If a woman gets this, you know, if women get the short end of the stick, then of course you're going to say that this is sexism, that this needs to change, and etc, etc. But if men get the short end of the stick, then it's not really uh, misandrist or sexist. It's just there. It's not even, you know, a big deal towards anyone. Well, I, especially for feminists, because it's just there. And that's my major issue with feminism. It doesn't really care about much about men's rights or things that men have to face on a daily basis. Men are more likely to commit suicide. Men are more likely to be victims of, the, of violence. Men are more likely to lose in custody battles. And men are more likely to be drafted to war. And of course, men are more likely to die from their jobs than that of a woman. So yes, how dare we gain, you know, that extra five, six cents there, you know, for working. Oh, for fuck's sakes. And you could have debunked Spike's young comment. You, you could have said, you know, prove him wrong at the very least. But you didn't. You just be like, oh yeah, yeah, I appreciate the disagreement and all that shit. You, you could have done so in your video, which is based, which is your, you know, video response to your last video. And you didn't. You acted like a total prick instead. You know, you were just all so happy that you received attention from some guy. Look, you need to at least back up your claims, okay? But women do. They must constantly deal with the objectification, the sexism, and the inequalities of our society. How many female actors get paid as much as Robert Downey Jr.? How many people get paid as much as Robert Downey Jr.? Seriously. Robert Downey Jr. is one of the best actors of all freaking time. That's why people paid him a lot more money than the rest of... Oh, sorry. The rest of the Avengers cast members. Because this guy is one of the best actors of all time. Uh, some of the movies he's been in is Sherlock Holmes, The Avengers, um, Tropic Thunder, Shaggy Dog. Yes, it's one of my favorite movies. I know that some of you might think it sucks, but I like it. Okay, so shut the fuck up. And you're complaining about how women, uh, most female actors are not getting paid as much as Robert Downey Jr.? Do you even realize his fan base? The majority of, of his fans is not males, but females. But that's not sex. How many female CEOs are there? Well, how many women actually aim to be CEOs? And how many of them would actually not crumble down under the word bossy? Because, you know, seriously, we have Beyonce trying to ban the word bossy. Seriously, what the f fuck is wrong with feminism? How many females are there with startups? So we've got to train ourselves to be mindful and ever active in our pursuit of the equality of the sexes. We've got to do our part to make sure that our future mothers, daughters, sisters are afforded the same opportunities that we are. So fellow fellas, I'm a feminist and you should be too. No, you should be a humanist or an egalitarian Eagle Terry, I can't pronounce that word, the E word, or equalist, whatever the fuck. Just be any group of people except for feminist or masculinist. You can even be part of the MRA. Like I said before, I don't necessarily agree with the MRAs always, but I understand where they're coming from. In fact, I am more closer to being a Christian than to be a feminist. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace, the game. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, 
And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+ fucking sucks.